Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here and welcome to another Dawn and Julia Create. So today we're working with clay. So I'm working with polymer clay. Um, I think if I remember rightly, Julia is going to be working with um, air dry clay because uh, that's what she prefers and I prefer my, um, my polymer clay. And the... Um, the brief is we are to make a clear picture. I'm so excited by this. So excited. So I have got, uh, this is scrap clay that I just rolled into sheets. I'm gonna use that as my base. Um, and then this is all of my open clay um, uh, that I'm gonna use uh, just, yeah, uh, to create our picture. Now, not quite sure where I'm gonna go with this yet. Um, I mean, we've got some browns. What? There's my white, got purples. I'm looking for. I've got a tiny bit of green. There's a bit of green. Um, that's grey. So I might have to get a green out. I'm thinking very sort of woodlandy themed. Yeah, we do need some grey, uh, green actually. Because I don't have a lot of green open. Um, so and a bit of brown yeah let's get the different browns out so yeah i'm thinking very woodland themed um is what i'm gonna go with um because why not now i do have this massive piece but it needs um it's not very well conditioned shall we say there's a lady um it's dried up but i do have some stuff that will redo it so you'll see it's all crumbly and when it goes all crumbly that means it's dried out but you can get some stuff that um yeah that makes it better again but all i do is i just get some other clay and mix it in together so um i'm going to mix myself some greens up now you, you don't have to it's just i'm going to use this because we have it uh, just because it's crumbly and uh, dried up doesn't mean we can't use it because you can bring them back um but yeah i think the best thing for me to do with this picture is because it is going to take me a while i reckon a few hours um to do um is to pop you guys up on speed up while i do it um but yeah julia said just to make a picture so i thought you know what that's perfect size i'm just gonna fill um that up basically um with whatever i want there we go see it's not as crumbly anymore so we just mix all of that in together i'm going to put a bit more and i think because um i'm going to need quite a bit of green uh, but you don't need to see me doing this in real time um so yeah let's get you on speed up and yeah let's make ourselves a clear picture
but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to before the new. Rewind, take it out of cue. Innocence can be a young man's game. Signed up for the hall of shame. I wish I knew.
Okay, we are back. Sorry, that's just on it so that it keeps it flat. Um, it's all baked, so now it's just like um, a bit of plastic. It's not going to go anywhere. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I was going to do forest, and then I thought, you know what? Let me go back to my basics. Um, I want to do a dot, a fairy dot with a garden um, and the vines and, yeah, and everything. So that's ex precisely what I've ended up doing. Now, one thing that I like to do with this um, when I make... Um, these is I love to go over with some black paint okay and a baby wipe let me just get a wipe out and then take this off because that then brings out all of that gorgeous detail that I have put in so this is personal preference um now I'm wearing gloves because I will leave fingerprints in it and that's not something that I want to do. Now it is still warm because it has just come out of the oven. So if you are working with polymer clay and um, you bake it in the oven at 130 degrees um, for, it depends on how thick it is. I mean, as long as your temperature doesn't go up on that, then um, you can leave it in there for as long as you want. This one I baked for 50 minutes. Um, so and what you want is you want to give it enough time for all the molecules to sort of melt down and fuse together um if you don't give it enough time then when it dries like when it cools it becomes quite brittle and we don't want that we don't want um this to be to be brittle right okay so we are going in and around and i am going to do all the leaves and stuff honestly it just pers it, this is personal preference like i said um but i personally believe it just transforms the whole piece um so hopefully julia won't mind me doing this so yeah i've just put a little bit on i'm just gonna go in um but it just gives that i don't know it just helps it become what you want it to become but it is important that you wipe it off as soon as you sort of put it on um otherwise yeah you don't because you don't want the whole thing to be black we still want some of that color to come through so yeah I absolutely love it. I mean, look at that door. Isn't that that door's just come alive? So again, really getting in there. Now I do want to leave in there black, um, so it's got the illusion of being a window. Okay, where's it? I can do that, I don't know, but we'll see. So again, just going around and taking off all that extra black, but it gives it that weathered look. How gorgeous is that looking? Oh, do you know, I've missed this. I've missed doing this so much. And it was it's been really nice as well because I've actually been able to use um, my oven in here finally we're using the oven um, and it was so easy to get at <laughs> um, with polymer clay as well yes you can use your normal conventional oven but if you're going to be doing it quite a bit you don't really want to be cooking food um, and polymer clay together so you want to if you can if you if it's something that you're going to do a lot of then I would highly recommend just buying a really cheap um, portable oven, like a little baby one. I think mine cost me like £25. Um, and yeah, um, and a little thermometer as well, because if your temperature goes above um, 130, you are going to melt your piece. It's as simple as that. It's going to melt, um, which is, you know, you don't want to spend all of that work um, for it just to melt. So temperature is very, very important. 
Now I've done one side of the leaves so I'm going to hold it up for you so that you can see the difference and why it's something that I do. Um, I don't know, it's just there. So if you look at that side to that side, I mean some of you might prefer that side but oh, I don't know. There's something about adding black on that brings out all that detail that I put in. Um, it just, yeah, it makes it personally it makes it yeah just worth it so not doing an awful lot um on the flowers because we still want them to be bright but i do want that little bit of detailing to still come through um so it's one of the only reasons i do it and I discovered it by accident, actually, this uh, technique. Um, I did, because um, my first fairy dog, Silver, actually, it's got all my designs in um, that I used to do. And um, I loved it. And then I was making one for someone. And when it baked, I just felt like I'd lost everything in it. Like I'd lost all my detailing. And so I did a wash with um yeah with black acrylic paint and yeah now everything seems to get a wash of acrylic paint um you can do it quite watery as well if you wish to do so so there i've just added a load of water onto that um if you don't want it to be super dark um and i can't see why you couldn't do it with other colors as well um so yeah like i said this isn't going to be for everyone um you know you guys might like it um bright colored as it was um but me personally yeah oh, i love that right i need one more wipe you do go through a few wipes though doing this um i've tried a few different products to do this kind of detailing um oh, i just love it just want to take off a little bit more up here if i can yeah um what is this then i forgot i forgot what i was saying i'm just lost in the moment oh, i love it absolutely love it just and there we have it there is my clear picture now there's many things that you can do with this so we could frame it um which i do actually have some frames um we could turn it into book covers which is what i tend to do with most of my um what do you call it my clear pieces so um i don't think there's any i think they've all sold the ones that i had previously um but yeah you can turn them into basically whatever you want but yeah um oh, i love it I and mean, how lovely would that look on on the front of a book just inviting you in with that door i oh, i really do um I need to get this black up sorry i'm getting this black up before it stains my desk otherwise yeah we don't want um I mean it's already stained but that's what it's for it is but if we can get the majority of it of once black paint um dries yeah it's a bit of a nightmare but there we have it that is mine i love how this path is glittering so that clay that i use is actually um it's made like that with uh, the glittering it has black and silver and it is a granite um clay um but yeah doesn't that look so good Oh, I've missed doing this. Thank you, Julia, for this um, challenge. It has been lovely. This is my first clear piece in the studio. Can you believe it? And I have loved every single minute of it. It took me about an hour, no, two and a half hours, all told, to create this. Uh, but I had such a wonderful time. But yeah, isn't it just beautiful? Let me know, guys, what you think. Um, in the comment section below and I will catch you guys in another video soon 
Uh, but in the meantime, please do go over and check out our lovely Julia. Let's see what she has done. So she's working with air dry clay. Um, so I'm super excited to see how hers has gone um, and what she is going to make. So yeah, it's a, it wasn't to make anything in particular. It was just to make a clay picture, which I think we've done. I'm just taking a few extra bits of that black off. Um, but yeah, oh, I love, I love, it's weird not having it on anything, but yeah, I'm not going to put it on anything because I like it. I might, I, do you know what, I might frame it because I really like it. It's the first piece in the studio. It can be framed and it can go up on the wall. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Head over to Julia. Let's see what she's done. Uh, please do subscribe to both of our channels if you're not already a subscriber and I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon. But until then, happy crafting. Bye.